you from my man cave in Tom's River, New Jersey. Um, I'm bringing you another unboxing. Uh, this one, however, is not a mystery tackle box or a lucky tackle box. Uh, I ordered some things off of Amazon.com, some uh, fishing stuff. And I ordered it uh, between June 6th and June 9th, and it's, it's all come within uh, at least a week ago. But I've been waiting for one more item before I did this video but it's not coming for a while. I'm, it must be coming from China because um, it's not supposed to come till the end of the month. So I'm not going to wait on it. And I'll put that one up. And, I'll put it up and show it to you anyway. It's some uh, it's some hook catchers. Um, I have a couple poles that don't have hook catchers on them, and I, I it bothers me <laughs> when when my pole when, I, when I've got nowhere to put my hook because I end up end up getting the hook cut caught in my seat or or whatever. So it's just it's just better to uh, have the hook catcher, so I've ordered some so I can put them on the poles that don't have them. So, and they were four dollars, and they're coming from China, free shipping. So, I can't complain that that they're not here yet. So I'm just gonna skip showing them to you. The unofficial first item of this, of this box, and I've got a little cheat sheet like they give you in, in the tackle boxes, just so I can uh, keep some sort of order. Um, so this is my version of the inside your your box. So we're going to skip to number two on the list, which is these. I've decided to um, get some bigger baits to catch the bigger fish in the lake where Dad and Ann live, because I plan on going there sometime in the spring uh, to help them do whatever they need to do, or just to hang with them and uh, and fish on their lake. So these are uh, Zoom trip worms. And they are sand, is the uh, color. Um, I wasn't sure up until uh, maybe a couple hours ago what the difference was between a trick worm and a finesse worm. Um, from what I understand, they're pretty much the same, except trick worms are bigger. That's, that's the only difference. Um, I, I watched a YouTube video where a guy puts them both on a uh, stand-up shaky head, and he shows the action in a... A large fish tank, and they both did the same thing, except the trick worm's bigger. So, and it looked like the finesse worm might have been a little bit thinner. So, there's your uh, difference. These are um, these are I don't know what size these are. They looks like they're about six, seven inches, and they're like a sand natural color. I got them from obviously from Amazon.com. Uh, 20 pack. So, uh, and the zoom number is 06032 SP. I'm going to take one out of the bag for you. It was uh, 429 for a bag of 20, so you can't beat that. I mean, I like this. It's it's a natural color with some uh, some sparkles in it. And they look to be like a copper and black color. It's hard to see. it's hard to see because it's the same color as my hand, but uh, I think I'm gonna like fishing these. I'll Texas rig them on a, a stand up shaky head or just on a hook, and maybe uh, use a Texas rig uh, setup for them. Uh, so I can't wait to use these. Uh, the next item is is more. Uh, Zoom trick worms. I don't have any trick worms. These are my first trick worms. I've got one bag of finesse worms, and I don't know if they're Strike King or they might also be Zoom. I don't know. But these are um, these are called sprayed grass. They're like a. Uh, they look like they're like they're a watermelon or they look like they're a pumpkin green with like a blue and purple sparkles in them. So these were more expensive. I don't know why. Um, maybe they're bigger. I don't know. These are 765 for 20, and they're from Avalanche brand, so maybe that's why. Yeah, let me take one of the other ones out again. This is what this one looks like. You can see it's got the uh, purple and bluish specks in it. Let's see if they're the same length as the other ones. I think they are. Yeah, they're the same. So. I don't know why these are more expensive, but 
That's okay. It's worth it for twenty. I'll pay seven bucks for uh, twenty, for 20, uh, for twenty trick worms without complaining. So there's the first two items. Uh, next is a uh, Strike King coffee tube. Um, I don't know what what Gobi. It says Gobi. Wish. Lishish, lishish, three and a half inch. Uh, I don't know what it says on the package. If there's any indication of. Uh, it says Strike King coffee tubes are scented with real coffee bean granules and coffee bean oil. This natural organic scent is incredibly attractive to fish. So, I've only fished tubes a couple times and for about five minutes tops total. Um, cause I think it's that I don't know how to present them. So I'm going to have to learn how to present them. And I think I might have a set of these, but they're white because they kind of look the same. They're a little bit fatter than the other tubes I have. I bought the generic tubes when I first started fishing. So they're all the same, but these have, you can see they've got a salt coating. And these are, I don't give you a color. One side is like a pumpkin green and the other side is like a, a light bluish with purple, uh, purple and uh, dark blue speckles so this could be interesting fishing with these I've got to watch some videos and learn how to fish them but I will learn how to fish with tubes uh, next we have lake fork tackle these are baby shad two and a quarter inch fishing lure and they're called uh, bull Bream Pearl. They kind of look like baby bass. Uh, I, I think in my first mystery tackle box, it was a panfish edition, I got some of these. And I was killing the fish with them. I mean, I wasn't getting any really big fish with them, but I was getting pickerel, I was getting perch, I, I was getting uh, sunfish, I, and I was getting smaller bass. So these these work. and. I tried to get the same ones that they sent me. I went to their website because I couldn't find them anywhere else. And the ones I was using, was they were all like a pumpkin green. They were all one color. They were all a dark green. And I could they discontinued them on me. So I couldn't use them anymore. So I decided to order these. These are the closest thing I could find to them. Uh, it says, Lures with an Attitude. I like that. They are garlic and salt impregnated and made in the USA. Uh, I guess in Texas, that's why they call it Lake Fork. So I'm going to take one out. These are actually kind of unique. The front half of it looks like a fish. It's got a nice shape, and then it's like jointed. It's, it's almost got a jointed midsection, so it swims. And the tail is just like a, <laughs> a little stubby tail, but it must have some good action because, I, like I said, I don't know, I think they come 20 to a bag or something like that, or 15. Yeah, 15, and I went through them in a week. I mean, that's how, how a lot of, some of them were the pickle taking them with them, but uh, I like these. You could smell the garlic, so my hands are going to smell like garlic when I'm done. But uh, I'm glad to have some more of these. I should have got two bags is what I should have done. They were $7.85, and believe me, it's worth it. These came from Garrett Outdoors on Amazon.com, too. So. Um, next, uh, these are finesse worms, and these are the same uh, color as the uh, one of the um, trick worms. They're, they're called a uh, sprayed glass. Or sprayed grass, I'm sorry. They're called sprayed grass. Yeah, it wouldn't be good if they were sprayed glass. So I'm going to take one of these out, and I'm also going to I'm going to compare it to the so you can see the difference between the uh, the trick worm and the finesse worm. These were uh, 5.49 for a bag of 20. Here's your finesse worm. Here's your trick worm. The the tails are are almost the same. They're a little fat at the end, like a like a real worm. But the uh, finesse worm is bigger. So, the reason I'm, I got this color <laughs> is uh, Ann and Dad's neighbor, Troy. Uh, he's the guy I talked to about fishing in that lake. And he's the one that said I could get, that they have eight 10-pounders in there. 
and to use a bait with purple on it. So this has purple on it. I'm going back there and I'm bringing these with me, arm to the teeth, because I'm going to catch one of them. I'm determined. So um, that's the uh, sprayed grass one. And I got a second one. These are green pumpkin gold. More uh, finesse worms. I've started to use worms a lot more often. Um, the first year or so that I fished, I didn't, I didn't use worms at all. I mean, I had a bunch of them, but I never used them. And then last, towards the uh, end of the, the season last year, I started using them in Winding River Park, and I started catching fish there. So I figured if I can catch fish here with, here with them, I can catch them anywhere. So, um, yeah, these are a nice color, dark green, like a green pumpkin and they have uh, gold flakes and again these are finesse and these were six dollars and eighty cents for coin so that's pretty good so uh, we got worms, we got lots of, we got lots of worms now and I'm gonna move on to uh, it's a lipless crank it's a Spro a Ruku Shad uh, says 75 bait 3 inch 5 eighths ounce perch and it does look like a perch. That's why I got it because there's there's perch in uh, Winding River Park and a lot of the lakes around here. So I got one to match the hatch. Uh, it's number SAS 75 PCH. I'm going to open it up. A Roku Shad 75. I've got it. This is like my fourth crank, uh, lipless crank. And I haven't really used crankbaits. And I haven't, ow, 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 I haven't used, I haven't used any lipless crankbaits at all. And I've got like four of them. So, I'm going to be using them. It's got a rattle. I'm going to definitely use these. I'm going to learn how to fish them and use them. Because they're supposed to be pretty deadly. I and mean, this, this looks like a perch. So, there you go. From Spro. A Roku Shed perch. Um... This one, like I said, I don't use crankbaits. These are uh, square bill crankbaits. I saw them on Amazon. I, I was looking for something else. These are from uh, Brave Brave Fisherman Minnow crankbaits. It's five. There's five of them, and it was eight dollars and ninety nine cents. So nine bucks for five. So <laughs> I'm like. Uh, they must be cheap pieces of garbage. I'm not going to buy it. Well, I read the reviews. And most of the reviews were really good. They said they were catching fish with them. So, so I got them. Figured I'd try them. For less than $2 a piece, you can't go wrong. Um, once again, it's from Brave Fisherman Minnow. Crankbaits. So, I'm not going to take them out. They all look the same. They're just different colors. Uh, looks like you got your sexy shad here, your uh, crawfish shad there. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I'm going to try them. Like I've said a hundred times in, in my videos lately, um, one of my goals is to fish more of a variety of baits this year. So that will help. Uh, our, next to last, our, our next to last item is a box to keep my uh, my fishing line in. I, 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 Dix usually has these, but I couldn't find them. And I'm starting to get more fishing line, and I just got nowhere to put them. I keep knocking them over, they go all over the place. Sometimes the tape lets go and the line opens. So, now I don't know if this is exactly the right. It, I bought it online, so it's hard to tell how big it is. This looks like it might be too big for the size fishing line I, I get, but. So, this is from Plano. It's a 108 700 liter spool box, and it was 16 bucks, 15.93. So, and it was sold by Amazon.com and LLC. So, so I got that. And the last item, I think I mentioned this in one of the earlier videos. I ordered another one. Every time I place a fishing order, I try to order some more of these jig heads because um. I had a lot of success with them up in uh, Paradox Lake, and I've had some success here in New Jersey with them, so every time I uh, place an order, I'll, I'll buy a pack of them so I don't run out. I like them. 
Uh, these are the two. These are the three sixteenths ounce with a two watt hook. Well, um, how I came to take to get these, uh, I was watching another video on how to rig a worm, and it was the first time I'd heard of a finesse worm. And it's the other finesse worms that I have, strike kings or whatever. He said, get those, get these, and. And he told you how to fish it, so I did it, and I I caught a couple of fish with him. So, so uh, I'm kind of I'm hooked I'm hooked on these owner hooks now. So these were uh, six ninety nine for a package of four. So I will be using these for sure. And uh, that's it. It's the end of the box. Um, can you tell I can't wait to go fishing? Um, it was, I, I don't know, I slept most of the day today because I worked last night. So by the time I woke up, it was like 4 o'clock, so the day was almost over. And I'm guessing it got near, it was supposed to get near 50 today. Um, tomorrow was supposed to be around 50, and the next day, the next few days are all going to be around 50. So. For the middle of January weather here in New Jersey, that that's great. So I'm gonna, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take my kayak out or not. Um, it might be too cold to do that for any length of time. Um, it, it depends on if Laura goes with me. I was just gonna shoot over to Winding River Park and uh, practice casting my uh, bait caster so I can uh, be a better bait caster fisherman this year. And uh, if Laura doesn't go with me, then I'm definitely bringing the kayak. Then I wanna. Then I'll practice casting to actually try and catch fish. Um, otherwise, if she goes, we'll probably. What we normally do is we'll get a sub and have a little picnic. So I'll just bring the poles and uh, just to practice casting them. I, I don't. It's harder to catch the bass from the shore there because the areas I've caught them are nowhere near the shore. So uh, I'll just go for the practice of uh, casting. So either way, either way is fine. Um, I did get my fishing license this morning. I, I uh, went to the New Jersey uh, Fishing Game Department or whatever they call themselves, and I got it online. So and I printed it when I when I got home. So uh, I'm set to go. So once again, I want to thank my subscribers and those that watch my videos. Uh, give me a like if you like the video and uh, a dislike and comment uh, what you think about the baits I got. Yay or nay, you know, whatever, whatever your feelings are, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. So uh, take care, have a good night, and God bless.